Natural Remedies for Pilonidal Cysts Without Surgery Listen to this video to learn how you could dissolve a cyst naturally. As you listen to this video, you'll learn and discover easy home remedies for cysts that you can do in the comforts of your own home. The exact cause of pilonidal cysts isn't clear, but most pilonidal cysts appear to be caused by loose hairs that penetrate the skin. Friction and pressure, skin rubbing against skin, tight clothing, bicycling, long periods of sitting, or similar factors force the hair down into the skin. Responding to the hair as a foreign substance, the body creates a cyst around the hair. Some signs and symptoms may include pain, reddening of the skin, drainage of pus or blood from an opening in the skin, and foul smell from draining pus. Here are nine natural home remedies to get rid of pilonidal cysts naturally. Garlic deserves to be on top of the list when it comes to natural healing of pilonidal cysts because it's a powerhouse of antibiotics and antifungal properties. When consumed internally, garlic is a powerful immunity booster, assisting in our body in fighting infection and encouraging the healing process. How to apply. Crush one or two cloves of garlic into a fine paste and apply it directly into the infected area. Cover it with a bandage for a few minutes before rinsing it thoroughly with water. You can repeat this remedy for a few days. Add two or three cloves of garlic to your daily diet to improve the immune system. Warm compresses. This is a very simple and effective way to reduce the swelling and relieve the pain caused by pilonidal cysts. Warm compresses also promote the blood circulation to the cysts and boost the healing process. Certain essential oils for pilonidal cysts work great. For example, Tea tree oil is a great essential oil for pilonidal cysts. It's packed with antifungal, antioxidant, and antibacterial properties. Tea tree oil is proved to be able to shrink down the cysts and reduce the inflammation. How to apply. The simplest way is to use a dropper to directly apply the tea tree oil to the cysts. Or you can dilute the tea tree oil with water and then use cotton to keep it pressed on the cysts for 10 minutes before rinsing and drying it. It's safe to repeat this action three to four times a day. Number four, Epsom salt. Epsom salt is another simple yet effective remedy to treat pilonidal cysts. Salt helps draw out the toxins or liquid from the cysts and shrink them down considerably. Add an Epsom salt to your bathtub and relaxing for 15 minutes can really reduce the pain and avoid further irritation and inflammation caused by the pilonidal cysts. Another natural remedy is black tea bags. Black tea with its acidic properties, is a natural healer of pilonidal cysts, keeping the infection at bay. Its anti-inflammatory nature is also a good source of pain and swelling relief. How to use. Dip a tea bag into hot water for a few minutes, then squeeze the excess water from the tea bag and hold it over the infected area for 10 minutes. You could do this several times a day. Another great remedy is turmeric. Turmeric is well known for its one powerful compound, curcumin, which is extremely effective in healing and infection prevention. Besides antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties found abundantly in turmeric, it also provides relief of pain and drains out the extra liquid from the cysts. How to apply. 
Add a few drops of water to two teaspoons of turmeric powder to make a fine paste. Then smear the paste to the infected area and rinse the warm water after the pus dries out. Another great natural remedy is aloe vera. Many people have been counting on aloe vera to cure skin related conditions thanks to its anti-inflammatory and antibacterial agents. So no wonder aloe vera is trusted to assist in the natural healing process and infection avoidance of pyelonidal cysts. How to apply. The first method is to directly rub the flesh of the fresh aloe vera into the infected area and leave it on for about five to 10 minutes before washing it with warm water. Another option is to use a cotton ball, soak with aloe vera gel, and cover the infected area well with that. You'll also leave it on for about five to 10 minutes and then rinse it off with lukewarm water. It's safe to use aloe vera several times a day. Another natural remedy for pyonidal cysts is good hygiene. As obvious as it sounds, it's very important to maintain good hygiene. If you want to get rid of pyonidal cysts and prevent the cysts from spreading. Please note that you should not try creams or gels without a doctor's consultation. There's a high chance that you can irritate the inflammation further. Another natural remedy is apple cider vinegar. This amazing multifunctional liquid is the next guide to the natural healing of pyonidal cysts. Being acidic by nature means that apple cider vinegar is able to balance the pH level of the skin, kill the bacteria, and effectively remove toxins from the cysts. How to use. You can dip a cotton ball in apple cider vinegar and keep it on the cyst for about five to 10 minutes or wash the infected area with apple cider vinegar twice a day. Last remedy, a healthy diet. When you consider your diet, please remember what you eat also makes an impact on the healing process. Pylonidal cysts, is likely to spread when your immune system is weak. So eat healthy foods that strengthen the immune system, such as vegetables, fruits that are rich in vitamin A and C, nuts, yogurt, garlic, and ginger. This video hopes to show you that there are easy to make natural home remedies for pyonidal cysts that you can do with simple and available ingredients to treat your pyonidal cysts effectively. Tell us your thoughts. And don't forget to comment in the comment box. Hit the like button below the video and share it with your friends. To see more videos like this, then click subscribe.